not only are the Bucks on a roll, winning nine of their last ten going into tonight, the Sixers won their six straight last night over the Knicks, despite missing Joel Embiid as he recovers from a bruised knee. Now Tobias Harris led Philly with 30 points, and after this bucket in the last two minutes shouted out, I'm an all-star! Tobias and Doc explained why after the game. <laughs> That's for sure what I said. And um, for me, that's just reaffirming that to myself. I mean, I, I know the fans know that, but um, reaffirming that to them and to myself, especially making those big plays. I embrace all those challenges with what anybody has to say. You know, it, it doesn't really affect myself because I know when I look everyone in that locker room in the eye before the game, we're ready to go out there and win. So, yeah, that's where that emotion and that is what I say. Yep. He is an all-star, uh, in my opinion, um, and that's not a slight. I think whenever someone says that, they mean someone else isn't. Everyone's deserving who was on it, but Tobias is one as well. You know, um, I think Tobias wants to win more, but I still think he thinks he should have been on the all-star team, and I agree with that. Tobias actually has never been an all-star, although he has come close in the voting and everything. He's max player, though. That, that's nice. Does he need that <laughs> extra motivation of needing to say that kind of stuff to himself? What do you think? I mean, if he feels that way, I can't get in his head. If he feels like he needs that to, to keep pushing himself forward, he doesn't need to tell us, though, because mm -hmm. I think all of us understand that he is that talent of a player. Um, you know, his situation is going to be a lot probably like Mike Conley. You know, mm -hmm. one of those guys that's super talented, go through their career averaging big numbers, and at some point, yeah. he finds a way to break through, but it's only so many guys that can be on the team. But if he feels like he's got to scream that out to keep himself fueled, then, then go right ahead. You need to. You know, <laughs> it's all about self-motivation, self-confidence, mm -hmm. and pubbing yourself. Yep. You know, for him, now he's telling everybody he's an all-star, so now everybody's like, oh, on next alert. year, mm -hmm. we got to look out for this kid. But we all expected Tobias to be this great athlete when he came to the league. He had the size. Yep. He had the shooting ability. He could do everything on the court. And he's been one of those guys, you know, he reminds me of Rudy Gay. He's always had that body. He's always had that skill set. But you bounce from team, you bounce from team, and then you get to a team like here where you're not the first fiddle or the second fiddle, right. the third fiddle. So even though you got all-star caliber talent, are you being recognized like you should? Well, yeah. Tobias is a great example to me of how sometimes we miss the nuance of basketball, right? So he is a guy who has excelled when he is in the right system with the right coach and been more of an average or slightly above average player when he isn't. And that is true for most of the players in the NBA. The top guys will always be the top guys. The guys who are just scraping the bottom will probably always be scraping the bottom. But most of the guys in the middle fit is the answer. Right. And Tobias's numbers here show the fit that he has found once again with Doc Rivers <laughs> and with the Sixers. No I do want to get to the late game because the Mavericks and Clippers meet for the second time in three nights. LA won in Dallas on Monday. Now, despite that loss, the Mavs have won seven of ten. Kristaps Porzingis has averaged 22 and 10 so far in March. Dallas currently sits at eighth in the West race, right in the middle of that play-in zone. Now, remember, if you finish in the top six, you get that nice break before the playoffs. If you finish seven through ten, you have to play your way in. So the Mavs are currently two and a half games behind Portland in that West six spot. We're going to be talking about a lot in the second half of this season. Fizz, what do you think Dallas has to do the rest of the regular season to avoid the playing games? Focus on what's in front of them that day, mm -hmm. right? Just take it a game at a time. Play your best basketball collectively. Mm -hmm. You know, treat every game almost like a playoff game. That line. Right? Yeah, absolutely. Do the playoff work now mm -hmm. so you can get out of that situation for later. But I tell you what, if for some crazy reason they do end up in that situation, wouldn't you like to have Luka Doncic? Yeah. It's a good <laughs> so, way to enter the right? playing games if you got to be there. If you got to be there, wouldn't you want to have him with you? So I think the biggest thing is, is and Rick is going to do a great job of this, is just keeping them in the moment of taking it a step at a time. Again, you see him with Chris Stapps Porzingis on the floor, what they can be. And so if they can just maintain health and just keep focusing in on getting better every day, they'll be fine because they got the talent. That is a strong key word there, help, help, because we know Prozingas hasn't been the healthiest guy in the NBA, and he's the key to that team. He can do so many different things, stretch the defense, go inside and score, and the way that him and Donkis work together is fantastic because they like they've been playing together for years, but they've oh, only man. been playing like one. So they have to stay healthy. They have to be smart about taking advantage of their opportunities. They cannot lose to any teams behind them because 
There are three teams trying to do exactly what they're trying to do. So they need to stay in position so they can rise to the occasion. And you know those trade rumors that you might have heard about Christoph Porzingis maybe a month ago, Mark Cuban has said the whole time, but then reiterated again right. yesterday on national television. They absolutely positively are not going to trade Christoph Porzingis. <laughs> I heard that once before too. Well, that's true. <laughs> it is true. And you were traded and then sent back. So you've, you've yes. had the gamut. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.